We are here today in front of the federal courthouse in Greensboro. I'm at the beginning of a landmark case called Common Cause versus Rucho. In Greensboro on Monday, North Carolina citizens and good government groups took partisan gerrymandering to court. This case challenges North Carolina's congressional map and seeks an end to the practice of drawing maps for partisan advantage. At issue are North Carolina's congressional voting maps drawn by the legislature. In 2016, a federal court ruled that the Republican-controlled General Assembly had unconstitutionally gerrymandered two of the state's 13 districts along racial lines. GOP legislative leaders responded by replacing that illegal racial gerrymander with a blatant partisan gerrymander, designed to still give their party unfair advantage, as Republican Representative David Lewis openly admitted. I propose that we draw the maps to give a partisan advantage to 10 Republicans and 3 Democrats, because I do not believe it's possible to draw a map with 11 Republicans and 2 Democrats. That leads to this week's trial in Greensboro, with Common Cause, the League of Women Voters, and North Carolina citizens asking the court to rule that just like racial gerrymandering, partisan gerrymandering violates the constitutional rights of voters. Too many of our voters feel that the system is rigged, that their votes don't count, and unfortunately, thanks to extreme partisan gerrymandering, too many of them are right. Among the plaintiffs in the case against partisan gerrymandering is Republican voter Morton Lurie of Raleigh, who's calling for fairer and more competitive congressional districts. But the current districts prevent many, many North Carolinians from being represented by someone sensitive to their needs and interests. Also speaking was Braxton Brewington, a student at North Carolina A&T State University in Greensboro, the largest historically black university in the nation. The legislature's gerrymandering scheme split A&T's campus into two different congressional districts, fracturing the voting power of students. And for each and every student who lives on campus, their vote has essentially been diluted. But we know that's not what democracy is a rigged system where politicians choose their voters. Voters should choose their representatives. The trial against gerrymandering in North Carolina comes just two weeks after the U.S. Supreme Court heard a lawsuit from Wisconsin also taking on partisan gerrymandering. These cases could prove key to ending gerrymandering of all kinds across the nation and finally lead to districts that give voters a true choice and a voice in our elections. People across this state feel left out. They feel like they are being penalized by their political affiliation and we need to take the politics out of the process to produce a map that more reflects North Carolina is more and is more fair. To join the fight to end gerrymandering in North Carolina, visit commoncausenc.org.